Hello, and welcome to the Fall Season Overview for the NACIF and CIF Esports Initiative. I want to first introduce myself. My name is James Wood, and I am NACIF's Scholastic Tournament Administrator for the 2022-2023 season. In this video, I'd like to present a quick rundown of what to expect this fall season as well as during the spring season. If you haven't already, please feel free to hop onto the Discord or email with any questions, comments, or concerns that you may have. Let's get started. First, I want to mention important dates that are coming up this fall. NACIF is going to be hosting a Fall Open Tournament. These Open Tournaments are going to be for, at the very least, the same three titles that are going to be offered for the Spring CIF Esports Initiative League. Important dates to keep in mind. Right after Labor Day on September 6th, registration will open for the Fall NACIF Tournament. These registrations will be open for the entire month of September and will close on October 7th. On October 10th, we will open and begin the Fall Tournaments. The Fall Open Tournaments will run a number of rounds equal to however many we need in order to finish the bracket out. This is going to be a double elimination tournament and will result in a single winner for the fall season. This is not a state championship. For the CIF Esports Initiative League, registration is going to open on September 6th. This is going to be for the spring league and tournament play. On November 1st, we are going to close early registration, which costs $100 per school. On November 30th, we will close late registration. If you register during the month of November, it will cost $150 per school for the CIF Esports League. On December 5th, we plan to post a draft of the league season schedule. This should be pretty much final, barring any major changes like teams dropping or divisions being shifted around. Coming back January 9th and 15th from winter break, we'll host two weeks of preseason games. These games are meant to help teams get a feel for the technology, the setup, and make sure that they are ready to compete. On January 20th, we have the last day to drop from league competition. And on January 23rd, round one of 10 rounds of league play will begin. We'll run league play until we conclude in April, where the postseason will begin. We plan to have the entire season wrapped up by about mid-May. Uh, Postseason details are forthcoming. First, regarding the Fall Open Tournaments. At the moment, there are three titles that are being offered with more under discussion. These tournaments are going to be free and open to all NACIF clubs and CIF member schools. Please note that this is a high school only tournament. If you have a middle school that's looking to complete, please reach out and we can point you to one of our affiliate leagues. Schools may submit more than a single team into this tournament. It will run a number of weeks depending on the total number of entries. And due to the nature of the bracketing system, you need to post your results no later than Friday of the given week by 11.59 p.m. At the moment, we're offering three titles. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, we plan on offering a crew battle five versus five format. We are currently discussing alternative formats and we are looking at time constraints for playing these sorts of games. For League of Legends, due to the time constraints, we're going to be running a best of one in the bracket. League of Legends is a five versus five team game and the semi-finals as well as the finals will be run in a best of three format to give the winning teams a chance to shine. Rocket League is gonna be running very similar to League of Legends. It's going to be a three versus three event that is a best of five during every week's of play. And then the semi and finals will be a best of seven. To give a quick overview of the league with more details forthcoming, it's going to consist of a varsity league as well as a JV league. These are open only to CIF member schools or schools competing with a designated CIF school as their partner. Schools may submit one team to the Varsity League, and schools may submit an unlimited number of teams into the JV League. Please note that the Varsity League is the only one that has a state championship associated with it, 
and the JV League does not currently feed into the state championship, although there is planning to be a postseason. Right now, the cost for this league is $100 per school if you register by November 1st. Again, that fee will go up if you register during the month of November to $150 per school. This single registration fee gets you access to all three titles where you can play in the Varsity League and the JV League, and you only have to pay the fee a single time. As I mentioned before, this is going to consist of 10 rounds of league play with the opponents scheduled as far in advance as we can. You should have your schedule prior to the league starting. We are going to have a two-week recess around the weeks of March 27th to April 7th that will hopefully account for most school spring breaks. In the event there's an issue with matching and there's a scheduling problem that can't be taken care of, you can make up your matches outside of your designated time. If, however, only one team is able to make it and the other team misses, then the team that is missing the designated time is going to have to forfeit. We are going to do our absolute best to create divisions that will facilitate the most competitive equity possible based on all the information given. We're going to go more into details when registration starts for this, but to give you an idea of what you're going to have to submit, for League of Legends, you will have to submit your player's main account. You will have to submit just their account, no names associated with them. And if possible, make sure you do a double check of their rank. We will be double checking what rank those players are. We're going to use the rank of the players to create the best divisions that we can so that everybody has an enjoyable experience. In the end, the top teams are going to come out on top in the playoffs anyways. But we want all teams to have a chance to have a fun and exciting 10 weeks of competition, whether they're irons or platinums. We are going to have a postseason for each game title, and the details are going to be forthcoming. For Rocket League specifically, all you have to submit for these competitions are a list of your players' main accounts, as well as their current ranks. This will again help us create the best divisions possible. During Super Smash Bros. competition, you don't need to submit player names or ranks because there's not an equivalent ranking system. But you will need to submit which fighter they're going to be playing during each week on your roster. Again, there's going to be a separate video to describe all of the formats, so stay tuned for those. Give a brief overview of Rocket League. It'll consist of best of five games using a standard tournament rule set on standard maps. The matches are going to be a three versus three, but you can have a roster of up to six players who are eligible to play during a given week. You are free to move players between your teams, but please keep your rosters updated and please limit players of the same skill level to the division that they were placed in. You can have substitutes that are on more than one roster, but players can only play in a single game each week. For all of our games, our default match times are 4 o'clock Pacific but coaches can agree to a reschedule or to start early or later or on a different day as long as it's not a playoff game and the game's not being streamed by our main accounts. Again, I want to emphasize there are no student names that have to be submitted here. The only requirement is that you submit the player's main, not Smurf account, and their rankings to make sure that they're appropriately placed. Next up, I want to give a quick overview of the League of Legends format that we're going to be using. During the main league play, rounds will consist of best of one games using a standard tournament rule set. The matches are going to be played 5v5 on Summoner's Rift, and we will likely be utilizing a pro draft feature on an off-site location to facilitate competitive equity as we currently do not have access to League Unlocked. I do want to say that with regards to the pro draft, this really does allow for schools or rosters with a small champion pool to not get completely banned out of the game. It also allows for meaningful pick ban where you don't have to worry about what order you're picking certain champions in for who owns what champion. Uh, please keep players from substituting on teams that are more than a single average rank from that player's rank. In other words, we don't want you smurfing. Like We want to keep these as competitive as possible. You are welcome to move players back and forth between teams, but you have to keep the rosters updated. The rosters cannot be changed with less than a week to a given match to give the opponents time to accurately scout and make a meaningful pick and ban phase happen. 
you can have substitutes that are on more than one roster, but like our other titles, all players cannot play in more than a single game each week. You may, however, have a player who plays in each of the different titles. That was not really addressed here, but you can have a player who plays in Smash Brothers and League of Legends and in Rocket League if they are so inclined. As with the other titles, your default match time is 4 o'clock Pacific, although both coaches can again agree to reschedules. And for League of Legends, again, we don't need any student names, we just need their main account, their not Smurf account, and we can accurately place them in divisions. For Super Smash Brothers, we are planning on utilizing a crew battle format. Again, I want to note here at the beginning of this, we're in ongoing discussions with regards to what format we want to offer for Super Smash Bros. There's a lot of opinions and a lot of really good ideas out there. And we're really trying to balance the time that kids have to stay at school and providing them with the best experience. Right now, we're looking at a crew battle rule set because we really feel that it adds a lot of team gameplay to the Super Smash Brothers title. Traditionally, Super Smash Brothers is a very solo focused game. It's all about one player doing their best and then coming out on top. And we don't really feel that that accurately represents the team spirit of a league play. So right now, the matches are currently set to be five versus five. We're talking about changing that and we might depending on if we wanna do best of three, best of two, best of five, just depends on how long we want the games to go. You can have a roster that is up to twice the number of players eligible to play. For crew battles, what you do is you set up your lineup and whoever is going first out each round in advance. After that, you have the opportunity to counterpick using the remaining four players who are on that starting roster. If you have to make an emergency substitution, then the player that's substituting in must play the fighter that's already listed. Again, there will be detailed rules forthcoming and a full rule set on this, as well as its own video. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Match times are default at four o'clock Pacific, same with reschedules, and you don't even have to submit any names or rankings, just the fighters that they're gonna be playing. I am hosting office hours twice a week. We have one in the afternoon on Wednesdays between 3.30 and 4.30 that are gonna be more presentation focused, and on Thursdays between 8.30 and 9.30 that are going to be a little bit more Q&A. Although there's a lot of opportunity for both Q&A and presentation depending on what the attendees need. The most current Zoom links are going to be posted in our NACIF CIF guidebook, which is linked on the NACIF website. And we may record office hours if we find that there's value in the presentation and upload those to help people who were not able to attend. We have also started using Discord for all of the CIF and NACIF clubs. The most current Discord link is gonna be posted in the guidebook. You do not have to have students join, but if you would like, you may have one team captain per team join in order to help coordinate match information. In Super Smash Brothers, this could be them coordinating the stage, stage striking. And in Rocket League, they may need to coordinate game logins or remakes or just communicate with the other team as needed. You can have as many staff or coaches join from any school site that you'd like. And in the Discord server, we've had a lot of great discourse already. We've talked a ton about the formats we're using. We've had some great Q and A's. And you can also use the Discord to schedule scrimmages, schedule fun practice games against other schools. If you wanna share out resources, permission slips, training videos. Um, there's also on-demand voice channels. If you need to set up game day talks or game day discussions between coaches or team captains. And there are game title specific channels if you need resources, help, support, or if you're struggling with anything. And honestly, just come on over. It'll help get your voice heard and it'll help give us more information about what we can do to make this the best experience possible. We also have a guidebook that is posted on our NACIF website. In this slide deck, which will be linked at the end of the presentation, this will actually take you directly to the most current version. In this guidebook, you're gonna find a ton of information. We've got an ongoing calendar. We have information about the fall open tournaments. We have the league initiative, office hour links. We have a link to the Discord server. We have a frequently updated question or frequently asked question section, and that's gonna be updated as more questions are asked. And honestly, it's a good place for information. 
Um, it'll provide a good general overview of the season, as well as rules and questions that keep coming up. So feel free to check that out when you can. If you have any further questions, feel free to email me at james at nasif.org, or you can email cif at nasif.org, and those emails will come to me as well. Feel free to reach out on Discord, and if you need the slide deck, the link is here. Thank you all, and I hope this has been helpful. Look forward to seeing you out there.